45, somewhere in the heart of the Midwest. By the age of nine, he was considered a super genius. I was sent across the ocean to study in the greatest universities of Europe. While studying in Pisa, Italy, he stumbled upon a copy of Encyclopedia Latinica. He immersed himself into the arcana of an alchemy. And from then on, his life was forever transformed. Was considered the most brilliant scientist by his colleagues. And now, under the belief of the columns of ancient Rome, he devised his process, the process, the greatest scientific process ever known to man. Under the twilight, the full moon, deep in meditation, under the moon, and the starlight, will the ward eyes from the macrocosmic to the microcosmic. This process was beyond even life and death. A process so secret, he had to keep it deep within his last will and testament. And there to his wife Josephine, Thank you.
chips. Hey, we're what's gonna, up? Guess what? We're gonna be rich, bro. Yeah, one day it'll happen. No, today. Two days. Because I went, just went to my lawyer's office and we set up the uh, trust fund for the family. And the weirdest thing happened, dude. The lawyer opened up the envelope and this fucking crazy motherfucker put us on a scavenger hunt for his $80 million fortune. He leaves you in a will and puts you on a scavenger hunt? Absolutely. He was out of his mind. <laughs> this guy was freaked out, huh? He was doing way too much fucking whatever it was he was doing. Well, back then they used to do a lot of morphine. Yeah. And he did have a lot of black circles under his eyes. Well, that's true, but they, 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 they were the all had the plague. The evil. I think that plague, plague ate, of ate, away, death. ate away into his brain, don't you think? It decrepitates brain cells at an alarming rate. So, yeah. we're sitting there, me, my brother, my sister, and uh, my, my mom's husband. And this guy is a ruthless motherfucker. So we gotta get to this guy's gravestone because I before think there's something before my brother gets there. All right, hey, now. Is that Death Lake? Is that the entrance of Death Lake? Yeah. That has been, that has been modified several times since my last incarnation. Your last incarnation? Yeah, my are you last on, what, are you, what incarnation are you on now? Um, I'm on the white ones because they go better with peanut butter. But in this meeting, you should have seen the faces of my family. They're sliva and their fangs were jutting out, <laughs> just waiting to get their hands on that cash. <laughs> but we're going to fuck them over! <laughs> well, we got computers and technology on our side. We're going to have to move, will, bro. Power. We're going to get that money, bro. High five. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.
the ninth floor? Yeah, it's now. Playing games. What is he telling you after later? Yeah. Cool. Hey, Chips. What's up? What are we first? doing here? We're waiting for testimonial. It's camera. Going. We're waiting for testimonial. You bring me to this lawyer's office. We're supposed All to the way in Paris? No, Italy. Pisa, Italy. We're, Pisa, Italy? Yeah, that's I, okay. I, Paris, I, I couldn't tell you till we got I, here. We're in a detention I room for right now. I thought we saw Morrison's grave. That was part of the ploy. They brought us. This is the way I had to bring you. I, I couldn't. This is the way the tickets ran. It was and hey, you got to see Morrison's grave. He's not even in there. He's partying with Lenny. Oh, was it, oh, I see. It was a deception. But, well, yeah, and I could tell you that because off. I they could have been listening on your cell phone. The, the big dude in the in the Paris airport. The, mm -hmm. He gave me tickets, and we we once we got uh, you know. Dude, that makes a lot of sense now. I mean, of course, it's it's all making sense to me, and it's um a matter of being in.